Thanks for joining us on the Usenest YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your machine on the X, Y and Z axis. We're going to go over all the steps needed to do this, and this is mainly for the Duet controller. Stay tuned. So we can calibrate the accuracy of our machine. What we're going to do is cut a 60 by 60 square into our aluminium with a 5mm pocket depth. So this will help us calculate what our Z is operating at. We're then going to measure these figures using some calipers so we can do this in the most accurate way and then we're going to make sure we can see the difference between what we're cutting and what the machine should be cutting and then we're going to go over a bit of formula to calculate the values and enter them into your config.g file. First we need to set up the two Y actuators. We're going to do this by measuring them so we can get them to be in sync with each other. So let's just take a measurement there and I can see there that we've got 29 millimeters. So we're just going to repeat this for the same side. This is making sure that your machine's homed first and switched off. Again, we're going to repeat this step for the other side. Already I can see that this plate is out of alignment. So what I'm going to do with the machine switched off is just rotate the coupler until we can get it exactly the same as it was on the other side, which is just there. Then once you've done this, go back to the other side, just double check that it's the same as you've set it on both sides and they should be nice and in sync with each other. Now that we've finished milling our piece of aluminium, I'm just going to remove the tabs and we can start to measure it with our digital calipers and then I can show you what to do in the config.g setting on your Duet web control. To calculate our steps per millimetre, we're going to use some digital calipers and our piece that we've cut on the work beam. So we're going to start by measuring our X. You can see there we've got 60.10 millimetres. So I've just made a note of that on our actual values. Just measure the Y. got 60.17 so again I've made a note of that in the Y actual value just measure the Z we've got 5.03 so I've made a note of that there so to start with our theoretical values we wanted to cut 60 by 60 and Z was 5 mil so you can see in comparison that we're slightly out so to do the calculation, we're going to do x60, which is our theoretical value, times by 400, which is the steps per millimetre our machine is set to at the moment, divided by 60.10, and that's going to give us 399.3344. If we do that the same for each one, we get 398.869 for the y, and for the z we get 397.614. I'm going to take these new values and enter them into our Duet web control. So under settings, you'll find the system editor. So if you go onto that, config.g, and we're interested in the M92 command, which is this one here. So if we can just change our values, so x is 400, we're going to change that to 399.3344. Change the Y, 398.869, change the Z to 397.614, so that's that command there. These figures are going to be different if you've got a belt drive machine, so please take note of that. Now we're going to hit save changes, and it will bring up an alert that says reboot duet so because we've changed the config file we're going to have to reboot the duet so we press yes just scroll up there to general once you're on general just click on apply settings just to confirm it settings applied now if we go back into settings system editor config.g can just double check in our M92 command that the steps per millimetre have saved. 
and that's that finished. I hope you found this tutorial useful in calibrating your Workbee CNC machine that's running the Duet controller. Please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.